Hello friends! In this video you will see new amazing finds from the world we tea and the stories behind their discovery. Let's get right to the chase! This 5 truck. A 5 truck, which worked on the road of life during the blockade of Leningrad, was lifted from the bottom of Ladoga Lake in the Leningrad region. The road of life was the name given by the people of Leningrad to the ice road across Ladoga, which was put into operation in November 22, 1941. It operated for two winters and was the only line of communication of besieged Leningrad. It transported more than 16 million different cargoes, including military supplies, and evacuated more than 1 million people during the entire period. The village of Kabona, located on the eastern shore of the lake, was the main evacuation point during the siege of Leningrad, through which the road of life passed. The recovery of the truck took place in difficult weather conditions. There was a lot of shaking wind and rain, and this made the process difficult in many ways. Unfortunately, wooden parts of the truck were not preserved. The frame, axles, and the engine survived, as well as the tires of the wheels. The truck had metal skis on the front wheels for ice and snow conditions. Under what circumstances the Z5 sank has not been clarified. There are no holes or damage from enemy shells and bullets. Probably the car fell into the ice hole after the enemy bomb. The Z5 must be thoroughly examined by specialists. Experts do not exclude the possibility that the car will be restored to working condition. Yak 9L Fragments of the Soviet Yak-9 aircraft of the famous Moskva squadron, as well as the remains of the heroic pilot, who died in the spring of 1945 in his last battle during the East Prussian offensive operation, were recovered from the ground in the Kaliningrad region. From the depth of more than 4 meters, parts of the engine of the aircraft with the number 3277 were recovered, along with the weaponry that had been smashed to pieces by the impact on the ground, a 20mm Schwack cannon and 14.7mm UB machine gun. The remains of the pilot, the order of the Patriotic War of the Second Degree, fragments of uniforms, documents, service weapon TT pistol were found in the place where the fragments of the aircraft were found. Miraculously preserved for 80 years, fragments of the certificates of receipt of allowances, certificate of award in the order of the Patriotic War of the Second Degree were found. Thanks to them, it became clear that the remains belonged to the Guard First Lieutenant Lev Pevsner, born in 1920, a native of the town of Yelna, Smolensk region, a commander of the 168th Fighter Division. The fighter bomber was hit by enemy anti-aircraft artillery. It crashed on the outskirts of the modern village of Lipovka. First Lieutenant Pevsner will be buried with military honors in a mass grave at the memorial in the village of Svoboda, Chernihovsky district, after the forensic examination of the remains and answers to questions from the Central Archive of the Defense Ministry. A gun in a ditch A young man from Poland was walking through the woods looking for an adventure. At the edge of the forest, in a ditch, he noticed metal sticking out from under the autumn leaves. He decided to take a closer look and pulled it up to the surface. The strange piece of iron turned out to be a rifle from the Second World War. The man began to dig through the leaves and found a whole arsenal of weapons of all different types and models. It was clear that someone had deliberately left them in a heap. Maybe it was a tractor driver who collected these artifacts of war while plowing the land. The weapons were very rusty, but still it was a very interesting find. That's all for today, folks. You can send us a super thank you or become a sponsor, supporting our channel to create new historical videos. Good luck to all!